Well, lucky who showed up today. Let's go catch some fish. Let's do it. Hop on. Hop aboard the vessel. Better hop aboard the vessel. He's leaving you. that killer miller cast beautiful first cast of the day first cast of the day make sure you set the hook into them keep it tight what am i saying what am i saying you know what you're doing this ain't your first rodeo keep that rod tip up though <laughs> No, no, you can keep it up. Once you get it to the boat, you just don't want to high stick it. How's he feel? He feels like he's swimming towards me a lot. Yeah. He may be big. I've oh, yet to see him. Beautiful redfish. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he's a nice one, too. Dude, he didn't even get the bait. <laughs> Look at you. He didn't even get He's a solid red though. <laughs> keep him. Yeah. There you go. So now you want to keep, uh, now you want to keep your rod, yeah, like that, like horizontally. You don't want to keep it. Um, this is why I didn't put the anchor pin in the front because you wouldn't have to worry about getting stuck on it. I'm putting her in the cooler. <laughs> All right, she's calling it. Woo wee, look at that. Hold his tail up a little bit. Oh yeah, let's put him in the sun. You guys can see that copper he's a beautiful fish and we are keeping him heather is making the call the he's 22 inches he's well within the slot and beautiful fish tasty fish and <laughs> yeah, we're gonna throw him in the cooler first cast of the day first cast of the day i'll tell you what guys when the fishing's good it's good i think he's on there yep there he is Oh, he's feisty. He's a feisty one. Where you at, buddy? I can't even see him. He's definitely a redfish. He's staying down. Beautiful. Didn't even have to reel your rod in. <laughs> he might be a touch bigger. He's definitely slot though. 100% slot. In the slot. Going in the cooler, baby. <laughs> Redfish for dinner tonight. What you know about that? <laughs> I think he's actually smaller than yours. Touching on the tail. He's 21, you beat me by an inch. What do you think, you wanna keep him? 
You make the call right now. Throw him back and go for a 24? Gut says we can. All right. I hope I'm not wrong. No, I think you're right. I can get the hook out of them too. Uh, can you get me my pliers? Yeah. Look at that beauty. They're such pretty fish. All right, he's actually not going in the cooler, guys. He's gonna go back. Just like that. <laughs> Really, really, really fast. Keep the rod tip up right now. Oh, it's a red. It's a red. Oh, it's a beautiful red. Keep the rod tip up. Keep some pressure on it. It's a good one. Let me get my line up high. Out of your way. I see him. Here you go above me. Put the rod over me. Go on the other side. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. You're good. Yeah, that's good. If he goes under the boat. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Okay. You, yeah, keep him below the motor. If he goes behind the boat, keep the uh, rod tip down so he can't go into the motor. He's a good one, dude. There you go. Look at you. You're a professional. Dude, he's really... He's dogging you right now. Keep him... Yep, rod tip down. Bring him over here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him in the boat. <laughs> he's pretty strong. He's a good one. Freaking... Oh yeah, right? Don't, don't boat flip him. Try not to bow flip them because they will sometimes break the leader. Yeah. Drop him in. He's alright. He's hooked good. Alright guys. Heather's putting the second fish of hers on the boat today. Look at that. What a stud. What a stud. He might be another 22. Yeah, he looks like it. Barely, if I pinch his tail, he's touching 23 right there. I'm taking the video with him, but I can't take credit. Heather caught him. Beautiful 23 inch red. That'll do it. We put the 21 back and we kept the 23. Let's go. Look at this one, guys. Heather just hooked on up on a nice 23 inch redfish. Is that you shaking him? Yeah. Look at that blue tail. So pretty. So pretty, yet so tasteful. They are very tasty. Good eating Alright, this one's going in the cooler as well. And we are gonna continue fishing. We got about another probably about another hour of fishing. And then we're gonna go hit some lunch and then go find us a nice little island to post up on, get our tan on, go home, grill some fish. Alright, time for some grub. Yeah. This is for Heather's first time at it's called Marker 8 in Dunedin, Florida. It's one of the few spots you can pull your boat up to and eat. It's actually like a hotel. They have a little tiki bar in the back, bathrooms, it's nice. And we got the Ginu all by itself on this side. Got a couple bigger boats. Fries, salad, more shrimp and plantains. And a pina colada that Heather mostly destroyed by herself. Wind's blowing a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna eat some lunch and get back out there. So this is where the hurricane went through and made it one big canal so you can go all the way through now. Look how blue that water is. So clean. Waves breaking. This right here is why we love Florida. Absolutely breathtaking. Look how clear the water is. So pretty right here. 
lot of boats taking advantage of this beautiful day. My hand's probably so shaky. What? My hand's probably so shaky. But uh, so basically right here is the big sandbar. This used to be this land connected to here, but now it goes out here. And you can actually, I could probably run my boat through there because my boat can go so shallow. But uh, I probably wouldn't do it because it's probably, I can see a lot of white caps out there. Yeah, we don't want to do that. But uh, absolutely breathtaking, stunning. This is like a whole different side of the beach that we see when we fish, right? So we fish in like the marshy area where all the good fish hang out. And then we come here and you get a whole different spectrum of water, just crystal clear. And it drops off right here, so if you wanna swim, the current's probably ripping right now, but it's probably five, six foot deep as soon as you walk off right there. Absolutely beautiful. Her as well. <laughs> I got you in focus now. Get the boat in there. That's so hard. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for coming on an awesome adventure with us. It's been a great day. I think I'm going to fly the drone and sh just show this off right now because it is just absolutely stunning. Not just this one right here. <laughs> stunning as well. But yeah, thanks for joining us. Floppy hat. Floppy hat. Sorry, I'm wearing my buff like all day long because I've been out in the sun three days straight and I'm just trying not to get absolutely roasted right now. It's a little pink. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.